Hello everyone, once again, it's me, Tony Burkhalter. As some of you may know, kinesiology is a relatively new science. And being a new science, tons of research is happening every day. And with that, advances in the area of human movement are being made at an exponential rate. But what does this mean for you? Well, today we're gonna take some time to discuss the future of human movement studies as they relate to advances in medicine and technology demographic trends, and how it could create movement challenges as you age. One big advancement has been the technology developed to diagnose joint and muscle ailments. Decades ago, doctors primarily relied on x-rays to aid in joint problem diagnosis. But as you may know, x-rays principally show what is happening with a person's bone and is not an effective method to use in assessing problems with the soft tissue. Today, imaging technology, which includes CT scans, MRI, or PET scans, can view ligaments, tendons, and muscles to better diagnose disease and injury. But if they find your hip is riddled with osteoarthritis and cannot function without pain, they may suggest a total joint replacement, or arthroplasty. Arthroplasty is constantly being refined and daily advancements are taking place in this specialty. Just a few decades ago, arthroplasty was unheard of. But as we learned more about how our joints worked and medicine advanced, joint replacement surgery became commonplace. Not only have arthroplasty surgeries become a common procedure, the procedure and recovery regimens have drastically evolved. Nevertheless, total joint replacements are not without complications. And if we can help a patient with fewer cuts to the body, it may provide a better outcome in the long run. With that in mind, there have also been advances in non-invasive techniques and less invasive surgeries, which can both afford a shorter recovery time. This is an ever-growing field in part because demographically our population is dictating it. And as aging people live well over 65, we need to make sure we take care of them. In relation to human movement, the older population brings with it its own challenges. And we wanna keep people moving throughout the entire lifespan. The quote, do we stop moving because we grow old or do we grow old because we stopped moving, causes me great pause. We know that keeping an active lifestyle throughout the years has been proven to postpone many health complications. As the study of human movement continues, keeping the elderly healthy and active will be a key focal point. Diagnostic techniques, non-invasive treatments, and even whole joint replacements are important to the advancement of human movement. Because as researchers are learning how we move and function, doctors are able to develop medical practices to help reduce injuries. And if we get injured, we can recover faster and return to activity quickly. As I've stated before, human movement studies are in their infancy with many things left undiscovered. It's an exciting time to be part of the kinesiology world and I'm glad you're a part of it now. <laughs>